Sam, everybody yeah. I know, this is no joke. Every American I know that has two visas has spent months in a Syrian prison. Really? Is that a you. sample size of one by any <laughs> chance? Just, just curious if it's, if it's just one. <laughs> just <Yeah>. one. <laughs> Hello, Beatitudes. Welcome back to another fun bonus edition of the Beatitudes. My name is Paul Kolker, and I'm joined, as always, by my co-host, Nick Besner. The most worldwide of Beatitudes worldwide. That's right. And Jeff Scheffelbein. Konnichi what? <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> and we, we're talking about worldwide and all that because we're going to be getting into some travel stories. But before we do that, again, the Beatitudes is a podcast for Christian men seeking to grow in holiness by hearing each other's stories, right? By, by learning from each other, by growing with each other, um, just on that walk to eternity through fraternity. So uh, we're back. Oh, Jeff, do you have- Oh, I have a holiness story. I got to share. This okay. is a Holy okay. Spirit story. So we're filming this on a Friday morning. Is it today Friday? Today's Almost. Thursday. <laughs> Nail. Almost. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> Almost. Don't, don't worry about details. What I'm about to tell you blew my mind, and I have to share this with you. Okay. So right before we met up in the studio, I went across- town to have breakfast with a religious leader in Fort Worth. Okay, I've never met this man in my life. We got connected through our friends in Denver at Innovest, by sure, the way, connected sure. us. Okay, <clears throat> so he's in charge of Catholic Charities Fort Worth. Awesome guy. We both went to AM. We both worked at Frito-Lay afterwards. We both are into culture. There's all these like neat connections. Yeah. I love his, his trajectory of his career. Well, we get to the very end, and I'm late for a call, and I'm going to be driving to meet y'all. And he goes, hey, I'm sorry. I didn't ask you anything about your family. And I'm like, well, let me text this person. I'm going to be late to this call, but uh, like five minutes, I can talk about family. I pull up my phone. I say the names of each kid and their age. And I said, but I got to tell you something that's happened this year. And I said, this kid right here had a golf club in his hand. And when he back swung, he goes, is the other kid Benedict? And I go, yeah. And he goes, wait a minute. And he takes a deep breath and he goes, there's an alarm on my phone at 3 p.m. every day. I pray for your son. The alarm is to pray Whoa. for Benedict. He said, I'll be in business meetings. And when it goes off, it gives me a chance to tell everybody in the room, because it's a special ding, that I want to tell you the story of what happened with this little boy and a golf club. And they're like, oh. and he's like, no, it's a miracle that the golf club led to the discovery of the brain tumor. And this guy starts telling me the story and I'm trying to say thank you to him. And I just start crying. And then he starts like tearing up and I'm like, how did this just happen? It is the coolest moment when you see God like blessing you with these pushes and these nudges that you're, you're on the right path, that it's for a reason, that it's bringing people together. But he prays with people in business every day at three o'clock or even on the weekends for Benny. So I just Ooh. had to share that because stories are what makes the world go around a lot of times. And we got to tell the, we got to tell all of them. Tell the good ones. Yeah. <laughs> Holy Spirit wow. stories. Yeah. So Gosh. come Holy Spirit, my friend. Yeah, well, we're going to we're going to hear some more stories, uh, some travel based stories here, I think, because we're back with Sam Goodwin, who if you didn't catch the Monday episode, you need to go listen to that about his uh, captivity in Syria. Uh, <laughs> just wild that I'm, I'm saying that out loud on our podcast. A sentence like that should yeah. never exist. Right. But also the fact that I never thought any of us would be the ones helping to tell that story. It's just incredible. So um, if you want to check that out, it's in his book, Saving Sam. You can find it on Amazon and Barnes and & Noble and all of those all those good places. Uh, but Sam, welcome back. Welcome. Thanks for having me. Great to be here. Yeah. Especially for the bonus episode. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so that's the spirit. We found out in the in the previous episode that you have traveled to all 193 countries in in this world. That's right. You and maybe yeah. a couple hundred people, roughly. Yeah. Ever. Yeah. 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 That's that's incredible. So. Um, we just want to pick your brain. We want to find out what are some of those, what are some of the stories that bubble up when you think of them? We're going to go through all 193. Yep. We want a story for each. I want to start with Chile. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it doesn't uh, have to be all 193, uh, but <laughs> hope the listeners are settling in because that's uh, <laughs> eight hours later. No. Yeah. So what, what's, what's like a story that bubbles up and like, give, tell us about one of the countries, what you encountered, what you experienced, all of that. Chile. Sure. Go for it. Chile. One of my best experiences from Chile was in 2014, I went skiing there in July, yeah. which was great coming from the Northern Hemisphere. We usually associate July with the summer, but it's the winter and enjoyed skiing in the, in the mountains just outside of, outside of Santiago. 
Wow. Chad. Chad. The country. I, hey, it's my country. What's up, guys? <laughs> there are only a few countries in the world that are named. So, like Chad, yeah. Molly. But, um, Wait, what? Molly? Molly, if you want to do the Sounds letters like a little bit differently. Different. Yeah. 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 The last name is Tough Cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> Molly Tough Can somebody help me identify this country, the country in my brain? Molly. M A L I. Oh. Yeah. It's a country. Also, I think St. Lucia is the. Uh, you have to. After St. Lucie? Uh, yeah, named after. I th- yeah. yeah. St. Lu- Lucia, yeah. probably. Yeah. So, yeah. Chad. Chad, uh, I ate camel and Chad. <laughs> oh. yeah. awesome. Wow, is that what happens yeah. when they break down? Uh, Eat that's it. one of the things that can happen, I think. <laughs> you, you, I think. Yeah. You, you drink out of them? <laughs> yeah. you, don't the get a, water. you don't get a tire <laughs> change. <laughs> no, <I'm laughs> well, that's how no you stay alive, <laughs> waiting for the next camel to come by to get you. Well, it's a, it's a Luke Skywalker situation. <laughs> yeah. you got to cut them open and nestle inside of it. <laughs> <laughs> that could work, maybe. <laughs> could work. Uh, yeah. Did you ever listen to Animaniacs' Nations of the World song? I remember the the states one. They did a U.S. states. Oh, the one. first one was United States, Canada, Mexico, Panama, Haiti, Jamaica, Peru, Republic Dominica, Cuba, Caribbean, Greenland, El Salvador, two, Puerto Rico, Colombia, Venezuela, Honduras, Guyana, and still Guatemala, Bolivia, then Argentina, Ecuador, Chile, Brazil, Costa Rica, Belize. I could keep going, <laughs> but then it would blow my cover that I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you do know what you're. I talking memorized about. that before they had Google. I just pressed play over and over, writing them down. There you go. Okay. I mean, I have questions for you. Let's let's we're, we're going to this side oh, of the table. Anybody who talks to Jeff has instant questions yeah. about life. <laughs> <laughs> well, I meant about your life, but yeah, <laughs> I've got the fifty states in alphabetical order, but that's it. Uh, yeah. yeah, Tanzania Animaniacs also. Oh yeah, yeah, Tanzania. Uh, I in twenty eleven I co- I taught English there in this small vill- village called Bagamoyo, and spent a month there teaching te- teaching English. And then also went to Zanzibar. It's beautiful. What month was that? I was in uh, May and June. Were you there? I went to my honeymoon there in June, January, February. Never made it to Zanzibar. We did Arusha and then the whole tour of taking pictures. So. Yeah, d- yeah, yeah. Uh, did, did you go to to Kilimanjaro? Uh, no. We saw it when we landed, and then yeah. we, were, we took off for the crater and Serengeti yeah. and all that stuff. Incredible. Yeah. African safari, one of the best travel experiences in the world, I think. Liechtenstein. That was country number 100. <laughs> was it? Yeah. Boom. <laughs> the 100th country. It's, that, isn't it one of the smallest <laughs> countries, it's, dude? It's, it's, it's very small. Like, yeah. <laughs> and you go from Zurich. And, you have an yeah. Excel spreadsheet that, like... Uh, kind of. Yeah. yeah, I had a mostly an Excel sheet for the, uh, for the visas. Because mm. mm. that became... A this thing. kind of a thing, yeah, what? keeping all that straight. Yeah, how many times did you have to replace your passport, right? Because they put stamps in it every time? Yeah, so one thing that not a lot of Americans know is that any American can get two passports, have two active passports at one time. Oh. So I would have two, and I would leave one at an embassy getting a visa while I was traveling on the other one, and then <laughs> and then switch them out. Sam, everybody yeah. I know, this is no joke, Every American I know that has two visas has spent months in a Syrian prison. Really? Is that a you. sample size of one by any chance? <laughs> just, just curious if it's if it's just one. <laughs> just one. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So did your did your other passport still have your same name, or did you go Jason Bourne on that one? Or <laughs> I've had two passports. First, the first one, and then that one expired. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Becomes yeah. a toy for the kids. Yeah. Moz- yeah. Mozambique. Yeah, Mozambique, there's just, I remember just really, there's a strong Portuguese influence there, so really incredible Portuguese infrastructure, like architecture, and I bought a pair of sunglasses for about $2 on the beach in Mozambique, (laughs) in Mozambique, yeah, Um, yeah. Kyrgyzstan, I'm just thinking of risk (laughs) countries. We're going for (laughs) Kyrgyzstan. Kyrgyzstan, Kyrgyzstan. sorry. Yeah, yeah. I went to Ala Archa National Park, which is beautiful. I think Central Asia is one of the most underrated regions. You know, this Silk Road, really incredible people and uh, incredible hospitality as well. So Central Asia, very underrated. Yeah. People don't think about the stands very much. So. Will you grab me that globe Shri- behind Sri Lanka. <laughs> Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka. Um, I rode an elephant in Sri Lanka <laughs> and also went whitewater rafting. Yeah. Uh, one of the more underrated places also. Um, it's kind of like India light. It's uh, <laughs> India's yeah. like sensory overload. And, and, sure. and Sri Lanka is 
is it has that, but it's maybe a little scale bit more approachable. Bit, yeah. yeah, scale back. Just my a little my bit. first uh, my first staffer at J P Morgan was Sri Lankan. Really? Yeah. 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 That's go, cool. Go visit. Go yeah. visit them. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so Rwanda. Rwanda. Oh man, some of the warmest people in the world. I rode this eight hour chicken bus from. <laughs> Kigali. <laughs> Tell me more about what is a chicken bus? <laughs> also, they, new they, band name, I call it. We are eight hour chicken bus. <laughs> eight hour chicken. <laughs> I also could explain why they were so warm <laughs> on a chicken bus. Uh, yeah, actually, just packed and drove across the country, beautiful mountains and hills. But um, yeah, on a bus crowded with people and literally chickens on it, and went, uh, went across the, the country to get to the border of Congo. Senegal. Senegal. Mm. In in Senegal, I stood at the westernmost point of continental Africa. Wow. Which is just outside of, of Dakar. If you're looking at the globe yep, there. Yep. It's, it's on the west side. It's, it's on the west side in case you were, yeah. <laughs> Not the <laughs> most western part of eastern Africa. <laughs> <laughs> How about Samoa? Samoa. Uh, so a uh, small island in, in South Pacific. Okay, quick story from, from Samoa. Please. Uh, I was there in 2018, and I, when I arrived, a friend of mine had connected me with his friend who was a local Samoan. Her name was, um, was Marissa, and Marissa picked me up at the airport, took me, took me around, great guide. And one of the evenings we were there, we went to this, uh, we went to a, uh, actually went to an Italian restaurant for dinner. And when we went there, Marissa's boyfriend joined us, and his name was Paul, and mm. It's a good name. Good name. Good name. Solid yeah, name. Solid yeah. name. <laughs> Paul was one of the captains of the Samoan national rugby team. Oh, wow. Which, in that part of the world, is, is a big deal. Yeah. And I didn't realize quite how big of a deal it was until we went to pay our bill. And when the waitress came over, Marissa reached into her wallet to give the, the waitress. Uh, <laughs> the, the, so the currency in Samoa is called the Tala. So she pulled out 10 Tala. And before she gave it to the waitress, she showed me the, the bill. And Paul, along with the two other captains of the rugby team, were on the note. <laughs> <laughs> what? And I was like, I looked at him and was like, you're on the money of this country? <laughs> I was thinking like... For playing rugby? <laughs> like George Washington, Nelson Mandela, the queen. Right. Is yeah. like on currency. Yeah. And Paul... Who I was having dinner with. Wow, goals, Paul. <laughs> yeah, I, Goal, I gotta, exactly. It's like Mike drop. More. He Paul scored a lot of goals. That's what I got on the money. Yeah. <laughs> on the money. I keep telling yeah. Paul he's so money, but I'm taking it back. <laughs> this Paul. Do yeah, you have the, any? The other Paul's literally like, I'm always on the money. Tell us Samoa yeah. about that. Ah, uh, <laughs> that's well amazing. Played. Well played. What's That's one that amazing. when when somebody just told me a story and they're not just yelling out names at you like we're in some sort of a cat yeah. call situation here? Which yeah. one do you go to? <laughs> um, one that I think of quite a bit is it was in Israel in in Jerusalem and the I went uh, the first time for a free few days. I think it was three or four days. And the first day I was there, I went to um, the church of the Holy Sepulcher. Went upstairs to the place where Jesus was crucified, and it was just packed with people. I mean, just ran. We couldn't even move. It was mm. like three days later, it was it was the day I was leaving. I was about to, to head out to go back to the airport. And I thought, you know what? I'm just going to, I'm going to go and, and just, I'm going to go back there again real quick before, before I go to the airport. So I walk in the church. I don't know if any of you have been there, but it's like mm -hmm. up this small staircase mm -hmm. to the right. And I get up there and there were zero people there. Zero. And mm -hmm. I sat there at this spot for, I think it was about 10 minutes with nobody else. Oh. And I don't know how that happened, you know, just the way that the people were moving. But I sat there for about 10 minutes with that spot, just just with nobody else. And it was very powerful to, 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 to sit there and experience that. And then 10 minutes later, you know, a tour bus showed up and you know, a hundred people a came up the steps, but a blessing and something that I, that I, um, think about quite a bit. I can't match. I think I'm in like four countries to yours, <laughs> but statistically at this table, we've all been at 45 if you take the average, but, um, I will say all this, I went up those steps 
and I was there in 2006, my first time, and yep. nobody was traveling to Israel. There was a few Russian groups, hardly anybody from America, but most people weren't going to Israel yeah. in 06. And um, I get to the top, and this group is singing, Were You There When They Crucified My Lord? And it shakes me so much that I'm having trouble walking, but I want to touch the the rock. Yeah. And I'm like shaking, trying to get down to it. When I went back four years later, it was crowded. Still beautiful experience. I don't take anything away from it. But what you're describing, I, I didn't have it solitary, no, but, but that's it was 10 people singing, were you there when they crucified my Lord? Like, it's oh. incredible. Yeah. Yeah. That was my Israeli accent. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Might, might need to work on that one. I don't like his <laughs> Russian. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then what's the, do you ever send gifts back to your family from all these travels? Like you ever send them crogs or anything? You know, if I if I could start all over again, I probably would have tried to get one thing from each mm, place or something. Sure. But a I thimble or something. Did, that I did, you didn't think something. about that until yeah. Country Forty, and you're like, <laughs> crap, crap. <laughs> <laughs> can't start now. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I wish I, you know, I, I never planned to do it. It was it was kind of just I, it was education. Yeah, yeah, it was organic and then it evolved. But, you didn't even think about it until you're at like 120. I. Mean, <laughs> like, I, I Living overseas helped a lot. Sure, you know, being based in in Singapore. Yeah, Singapore. Oh, for sure. You can. You're in striking right, distance. Right there. You can like, probably like 15 yeah. different countries. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, did you pick up any? Did line? you pick up any like hobbies or um, like Lang- languages? Languages or yeah, like I'm just thinking like my buddy that's traveled extensively South America picked up obviously speaking Spanish, but then mm-hmm. surfing, like oh water, yeah yeah like um I so I. I can make myself understood in French, so I speak mm-hmm. a little bit. But one thing that I t- always tried to do was learn at least a couple words in a language, in a local language, and I found that that, that goes a long way. People really appreciate mm. that effort. You tried. Try. Just, yeah. And usually I would learn thank you. I think yeah. I can say thank you in like 20 languages or something like that. Sure. But that I found go- goes a long way. The locals really appreciate that, uh, uh, that effort. Also, I'll say that the most universal gesture in the world is a smile mm. that means the same thing everywhere it's awesome jeff smiling <laughs> yeah for all of you listening listen to this <laughs> well, you can hear the warmth i know it's the chickens <laughs> it's it's the, the chickens. chickens all right listen uh i want everybody to follow your stuff i can't wait for book number two i don't what would book number two be called after saving sam and now you've heard all these other stories it's what <laughs> I'm probably going to come to you for title ideas. <laughs> yeah, we can do that. Back on the road or something like that. It's like Sam surfing. We're just going to carry you around from country to country. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> well, if you made Put it, it on this the list far. of ideas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you made it this far, um, type in the comments eight hour chicken bus and uh, <laughs> make sure to share, like, and subscribe. Christopher, give points to everyone who does that in the first two days. Yes, please do. You can pin their comments. That's it. Uh, eight, eight points. We will. Yep. Yeah, eight points. Eight points for one for each hour. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you for tuning in today. Thank you, Sam, for joining us again and sharing so much about your just your journey all over the globe. And uh, we will see y'all in whatever country we run into you for the rest of you. We will see, see you in the, the Eucharist. Eucharist. God bless. Thanks for tuning in. If you'd like to join us at our undersized table, subscribe to the video version of the show on YouTube by typing at that's the symbol at so shift and two on your keyboard at the underscore Beatitudes on YouTube. We'll see you there.